Hey guys, Dancy2. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Last time, we got the power bomb data, and um, we were told to come back to our ship, but the elevator has stopped working. So, well, time to put those power bombs to use. Hey, look. Secret path. Must be a maintenance shaft. Well, we're going to need it to get out of here. Like these guys, when you get close enough to them, they're gonna freeze up like that. Uh, from farther away, you can shoot into their little core and kill them. Or you can just opt to freeze them like I do and just say, F it. Freeze, please. Thank you. Ridley? Uh-oh. Ridley is gone. There is only X. Power bomb. Okay. You got it. Let's go through the pipes. Find another power bomb upgrade. Basically, power bomb upgrades are always going to be blocked by uh, power bomb stuff because of the fact, or well, they're going to be bop. Power bomb upgrades are going to be blocked by power bomb blocks for the most part or in areas that we can't reach yet because of the fact that if we could get to them before now, we the game basically doesn't want us to get to them before we have power bombs. So they put power bomb blocks in front of them so we don't have that issue. We can't really do much to those guys yet aside from try and power bomb them, but I'm not going to. I think I can just power bomb this and open up everything. Yep. Grab up a missile tank. And find our way back out here. The entire station seems to be pretty dark. Something off about this. Thought you said we shouldn't cut the power. Why'd you cut the power on me? Save data, of course. The main silo of the reactor core is going offline. That's why all the elevators and station systems are down. Elevators and hatches will not work. Uh-oh, that's not good. If we can get to this point, we might be able to start it. The auxiliary, okay. Auxiliary is better than nothing. Yes. By the way, I asked you to return. Some strange creatures have boarded your ship. I have been hearing them in the background. Oh, hi there. Turned they were not exos and gave them birth. Birth, whatever. Know anything about them? Are they strange creep? Are they the source of the healthy biosides? Yes, they were. Very well. You do that. I'll go turn the power back on, hopefully. Turn the emergency lights on at the very least. Uh oh. These guys are what the uh, caterpillars turned into. We won't see it yet, but they are what they turned into. And they've taken over quite a bit of the station. See, there's this cocoon right there. I don't think there's anything actually up there. Alright. Now, in order to save time and conserve my energy, I'm going to just uh, kind of cheat my way up through here. You're kind of supposed to go down and then climb your way up using a combination of ladders and uh, these vines, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go this way and say, fuck it. Anyway, we have real spice, we have real spice pirates? Spice. Spice Australia. That was a complete coincidence. I actually hadn't planned that joke, but it'll work. We have space pirates here. And they take three super missiles to take down. We have an energy tank as well, thank god. All right, we're on our second bar, finally. We have a lot of hidden floors here that we're going to have to blast through. What the hell? There we go. Must have missed it. Gotcha. Hey, where are you going? Down here. Ah, missile tank. We won't be able to get that yet. Hi, buddy. 
Hey, come back here. Wait a minute. Power bomb. Grab missile tank. Hi. Surprise. Oh, pit block. Forgot that was a pit block. I think I'd remember that one. Anyway, since we put off that power bomb up there, all these this block and this block are gone. But you'd have to blast them out if you didn't power bomb it. Stop it. Okay. About to go into probably what I would consider maybe the hardest boss fight in the game. Well, up to this point. And probably for a while. He's gonna shoot fire down in all three corners. Now we're gonna want to... If you're not good at wall jumping, this is gonna be a little bit difficult. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I should probably show what happens. He's gonna shoot out his fireballs. He's gonna grab you. Nope. I wanna try and shake yourself free, but it hardly ever works. You wanna stay in the corner, stay crouching. Crap. I got myself off sync because I let him catch me. Gonna want to stay in this corner. Come on, fire, go away. This is bad. I might actually die here. Now he's gonna work his way over to the other side somewhat so he can come at you at a straight. Actually, no. Because the fact that he shoots fire, he's going to be able to come over to you there at a straight angle. You go down, if you crouch down, he won't be able to grab you, hopefully, unless he's coming at you straight. That's when you're going to wall jump over him and drop right back in. I think I needed the wall jump that one. I think he was far enough away from me. But I don't like to take the chance. Oh. Alright, he's purple, which means he's almost down. Actually, I'm not sure if he has a red after purple. my shots. You can use a charge beam in order to make it a little bit easier to hit your mark. In fact, I'm going to do that. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I'm going to die. I took way too much damage earlier on in this fight. Alright, now he's going to start spin jumping around, dropping crap on you. Now, if you can get him into a good pattern... Which I, unfortunately, cannot. First game over. Wow. Alright, should probably show what happens now. I'm going to respawn at my ship. And I am going to cut until I get down to him again, and then we can start the fight again. So, see you guys then. Alright. Like I said before, this boss is actually very hard. Trust me, he got me stuck for quite a bit when I first played this. Morphball in a corner will usually help you avoid a lot of his grabbing. There you go, got three on him that time. If 
you're not good at wall jumping, I really don't have a suggestion for you. Just try to avoid as best as possible. I would have to learn how to wall jump, noob. Nah. I won't. I guess you can kind of try and trick him out a little bit. And honestly, jumping up high enough to take damage from his butt, from just contact with him, instead of having him grab you, is much preferable to having him actually grab you. It'll, it'll do like 30 or 60 damage rather than like multiple health bars worth. Three ones. There we go, got him. Anyway, he's gonna keep his mouth open the whole time throughout this phase of the fight, so you just gotta pump him full of missiles. Hopefully you should have enough missiles just to spam at this point. There we go. Once you deal enough damage, he's gonna reveal the Corax. Corax fight, not too hard. Pretty basic, you have a pretty big arena to dodge him in, so. It's probably pretty it's pretty easy to take him on right now. Nowhere near as bad as Cyrus's Corax. Wait, we get the space jump ability back. Lost well, a somersault continuously in the air. Um, if you remember the space jump from Super Metroid, this is infinitely better. Not very finicky. Mainly because it they changed it in this game, so if you tap uh, your jump button in the air, you'll automatically somersault forward. Um, because of this, as long as you start somersaulting, you can't really stop in the air. So, Space Jump is made a lot easier to use and a lot cooler because of it. Exol... I can't pronounce that for some reason. Backup power is online. Safe rooms and recharge rooms are now back online, but no elevators or hatches. Okay. Vegetation, we saw it choking it. Okay. Yes. Got it. Moving out. That's why we couldn't just run right in. Well, we couldn't have seen it anyway. If you do need to stop space jumping, shoot. Because that will, um... Set you into your, uh, standing up motion. Just wanted to kind of fill out the map of this area. Die, you sons of bitches! Give me to the save room. Anyway, I've had quite an ordeal right now, so next time we will try to find out where this vegetation is from and eliminate the source so we can get the power back on. See you guys then.